Today we're going to look at an activity that simulates how the body maintains concentration, volume, and its correct temperature, so homeostasis. I'm going to start off with the lab looking at safety, uh, care with hot liquids, care with glassware and goggles and aprons, please. Here's a list of materials, and you can pause on this and uh, look at it more closely. But uh, some plastic cups, and you're going to make a solution with food coloring and water. And two cups must have identical colors in them. One you're going to use in the experiment, and the other you're going to use, uh, but not alter. That will be your control. And the other materials there, uh, the cold water and hot water, are going to be to maintain the temperature of your liquid. And so you also have to choose uh, groups of four and which roles people are going to take. So one person is going to be a team leader and will direct uh, the others to add hot or cold water or to add uh, the dye, the food colouring. One person will follow those instructions with adding hot water as instructed, one person add cold, and the other person adding the dye, the food colouring. And so you are going to simulate uh, maintaining the homeostasis of the fluid in your cup. So it's got a, a sketch of Homer on the outside, you'll maintain the temperature, the concentration here by maintaining the color of the solution and the volume of the solution. So uh, read each of the setup steps, answer the pre-lab questions, set up the lab and then wait for the teacher instructions because when everyone's ready uh, we will start with the five minute test period. So step one, uh, you've got a cup it's got a picture of Homer on and it's got a hole in the bottom. Firstly, cover that from the underside because you're going to remove that at the right time. Suspend it in a, in a ring stand, a tripod, and you may need to put rubber bands around the top to make it secure. Remember, if you're just testing it with an empty cup, it's going to weigh more when there's the liquid in. And so set it up uh, so you've got the liquid up to Homer's eyebrows. That's going to be maintaining the level of uh, the volume throughout the lab. And then take the temperature and make it 25. You might have to add hot water to raise its temperature or cold water to lower its temperature. And then check the concentration right at the beginning is the same color as your control. The one on, on the right there, you're just going to use to compare. And here are the pre-lab questions. You can pause, pause these and um, looking at what you had to do to set up the equipment as it is now. Um, place the apparatus, the ring stand, uh, in a shoebox. The control doesn't have to be inside the, the shoebox. That's going to collect the liquid as it pours out of the hole at the bottom when you get started. So, ready, steady, go. You have five minutes to maintain Homer's color, volume, and temperature balance. going to wait until we say stop, block the hole just with your finger, and then we'll look and see how well Homer is doing. What's the fluid's temperature? How does the color compare to the control? And is the volume the same up to his eyebrows? And the question will arise, were you able to maintain Homer's fluid color, volume, and temperature balance? homeostasis for those five minutes. Did Homer survive? And then a set of post-lab questions looking at the vocabulary, the stimulus, or more than one stimulus that was changing here. Uh, 
what were the uh, receptors, uh, what were the sensors, how did you determine what the changes were, uh, the effectors, how did you alter things to have a response to the uh, any change that was there, and how did the feedback mechanism work here. So we're also going to look at some extended research related to the human body. How does your body maintain its temperature? And in particular, in hot weather, the second one should be in cold weather. And how does the body maintain its water level, fluid level? And what are the dangers of it being too low, dehydrated? And what about overhydrated? And how does the human body maintain its electrolyte level, including blood sugar level? And here we were looking at uh, keeping maintaining the color. Um, and what are some of the problems of a too high or too low blood sugar level? And then we say thank you to uh, Waterington International School uh, Team Science and Miss Copeland's missed an apostrophe there, IB biology class.